Hi. Uh, welcome to episode two, stream two. I'm not sure exactly what to call this, but yeah. Um, <clears throat> not sure if anyone's ever gonna watch this or, but I'm just gonna like talk and pretend that I actually have viewers and yeah. Um, I understand that like what I'm proposing to be talking about is like ridiculous in scope, but I don't know. I just feel like I have ideas that aren't, I, I don't think are talked about often enough and I want to share them some more. So with this, I don't know, title like the world and how to save it or solve it, I should say. Um, kind of a ridiculous task for anyone to take on, but... And... I'm probably, like, among the least qualified. But I'm not going to let that stop me, I guess. So I guess, fundamentally, uh, watching my last stream, it wasn't as good as I had hoped, but it wasn't as awful as I thought immediately afterwards. I think watching it at 2x speed, I kind of introduced the ideas that I wanted to introduce, although perhaps not as well as I would have liked. I, I'm not even sure who, what kind of audience there is for the subject matter. I think like the academics who inspire me would probably think my ideas are just too poorly conceived and too sloppy and uh, at the same time I'm still gonna try uh, like um, perhaps like eventually if I keep at it down the road I'll, I'll have a more professional presentation that's would be more acceptable to a wider audience but for now I'm just gonna shoot the breeze do my best Okay, so with that preamble out of the way, um, I guess the introduction today's stream, I wanted to talk, uh, as I mentioned last time, about the platform that I want to build uh, for conflict resolution. And I think one of the things I did last time I did really poorly at is I kept trying to define my idea of a democratic protocracy um, and kept failing, kept searching for the right words. So I, I kind of want to talk a little bit more about that. So I'm going to bring up my old documents here. And uh, yeah, so on the docket for today, a little bit of this more elaboration on democratic protocracy and then diving into uh, the conflict resolution platform that I would like to build on stream or and yeah so i guess what i wanted to say about democratic protocracy is I, 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 it's my i guess foolhardy solution to create a basically a, a political system that satisfies the uh ideological ideological constraints of both um staunch capitalists and staunch Marxists uh, to, to, to develop like a compromise that would, you know, give a libertarian all the freedoms that they want and then more, like more freedom than any libertarian society has ever conceived of before. And at the same time, capable of doing long-term economic planning um, in ways that... Uh, surpass what any socialist experiment has yet to achieve um and i guess that's kind of but i guess like fundamentally the idea is okay uh let's just get into this again make sure more, yeah
So as I just said, the goal is to meet the ideological constraints ideological good old bad spelling stream to me of I shouldn't just say both of of Uh, I guess the only thing that this wouldn't make happy is authoritarians. That's like, I, I can't, I don't know if I can make authoritarians happy except for, I think most people want authoritarianism, who, people who do want authoritarianism think it's the more competent way to go for some reason. But I guess my object is to persuade an authoritarian that there's more, this is a more competent alternative. Um, and of course, uh, but, but why, how, how, how can you, how can you, because, you know, capitalists seem to want a um, free market, supposedly, that uh, basically just kind of, I kind of think of the, the free market as like an algorithm to allocate resources that's uh, basically like from a liberal point of view is supposed to um, it's proposed as as the most egalitarian way in their mind to d distribute resources or the most ethical way to distribute resources and whereas uh the the socialist mindset is to you know take care of people better and to um and and but the, th the thing is in turn and, and to meet to, to to be able to meet everyone's needs and in order to do that they feel it seems historically in the past the experiments has been to push an, a, an, a, an authoritarian leader to supposedly meet the needs of the people. But I think almost any time we ask an authoritarian leader to uh, look out for the well-being of the citizens, it, it seldom works out. And even if it does work out, it doesn't work out for long. Because if you have a, even if you have a brilliant and um, just compassionate leader like what ha it's it's they they don't live forever they get replaced and then you ha once you have uh a ruler to taking his place with uh less than ideal intentions then things start to go bad <laughs> so um but yeah, yeah typically i think in the recent past i don't i can't think of any uh any authoritarian leaders that have Yeah, I, I I don't know enough, but like fund, fundamentally, I think we can do better. I think I think I I'm, I'm a, I believe in democracy. I believe that the I believe somewhat in the wisdom of the crowds. I I believe in um, I believe it's possible for people to collectively solve their problems more efficiently than. A ruler and I think I think the world is too complex for any single entity or group to uh, manage all of the issues involved so given the complexity democracy democracy makes sense in terms of dividing uh, decision-making and responsibilities so so yeah how, 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 how can you possibly Set, build a an economic system that satisfies both uh, capitalists and Marxists. How is that even possible? Well, my idea, I guess, is just was just as I mentioned last time. Um, instead of okay, well, so in in, in so 
let's just maybe if, maybe if I make some kind of like weird diagram with tables and stuff. Okay, can I do that? Okay, so here's capitalism. And Marxism. Socialism. I, I, I'm sorry, I'm using these terms interchangeable. A lot of socialists probably wouldn't be Marxists and, and whatnot, but yeah. And, and like I have a very, very weak understanding of, of, of any of these concepts. Uh, so, you know, don't go to me if you want to learn about. Marxist theory or the history of Marxism. I just have just like vague general ideas. Like, and one of the vague general ideas that I picked up is that uh, so uh, so let's approach is can I make this smaller? Maybe I could try this again. How did I do this? Let's make it three. A. And let's delete this. All right, try again. Okay. I'm just ma totally like. This is not rehearsed, I, and I'm just pulling this all. So sorry for this is sloppy, but sloppy is, is basically the best I can do. So what's we gonna do? So how do we solve? Uh -huh. Allocate, how to best allocate. So when it comes to the question of how to best allocate resources, capitalism would say, or capitalist theory would say, uh, but I don't think, I don't think, in the same way that socialism has never truly existed, I don't think capitalism has truly existed either. Um, and you, but I'll get into that more, but like the, the theoretical solution is free markets for capitalism. And for socialism, it's typically historically been centralized. Holy crap, a follower. Uh, hello. Thanks for the follow, neat. Um, sorry, I'm just a kind of a sloppy thinker with big ideas who feels like sharing them, and that's what I'm going to be doing. So, and, oh, man, I should make this. So, whereas capitalism says free market, socialism says centralized planning, what I like, uh, democratic protoocracy, is uh, basically just <laughs> I should I should put this I should have made this a four. What's wrong with me? All right, all right. Just trying to compare my idea with what's out there, proto. not the best name in the world, but it's all I got right now. Yeah, I'm not really sure how these, I just want to delete that old table. Damn it. So what do you mean? In a democratic world, there's so much buildup. Uh, distributed planning is basically the alternative. And so 
I guess like the key issue I had in, in terms of my interactions with like I I've often been socialized I've often been sympathetic with like the socialist movement and I tried to like you know hang out with socialist people in my local community and I guess the, the issue that always comes up for me is that I just uh yeah can't get past this and, and, and when anyone there, there's various uh any kind of like pressure to toe a party line disturbs me and any kind of talk of any kind of like dictatorship of a proletariat uh, like any kind of talk of dictatorship or proletarian uh, dictatorship of the proletariat uh, it, it just rubs me the wrong way i don't think it's and i think it's still all too common like like if 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 if, if, if I, I don't believe in in the idea of a of, of a violent revolution. I don't think that could ever solve anything. I think it's uh, I've heard many times like it's it's much easier to destroy the old than it is to build the new. And I am not at all interested in destroying the old. I just want to build the new. And I think if we do a good enough job building the new, then the old will just disappear on its own. Um, so how do we do distributed planning Ooh, i can do this okay now i can delete this okay sweet oh hey yeah that's hi that's the uh sorry i wasn't keeping up on chat yes i am kind of this is basically a personal catalog of my ideas i'm just kind of streaming right now to to actually start writing my ideas down i have one stream previously i talked for like three hours and uh i don't know how long, long i'll talk tonight i but th that's the whole idea the idea is i yeah to just get my ideas out there but i actually want to start developing a, a platform as well and future streams and maybe even the stream, if, depending on how tonight goes, I want to start actually writing source software uh, for a conflict resolution platform. And uh, and but I'll, I'll talk more, uh, more about that in a bit. I just want to kind of like just finish off my little discussion of, of dem democratic protocracy. So in my last stream, I uh, I mentioned that the the basic idea of of the is to basically that that all institutions um okay well we get the basic idea there's many basic ideas so first is basically uh open Ooh, this is tricky. <laughs> um, yeah, big ideas. So, so basic ideas. I think all all institutions should be um, modeled in such a way. that uh, the model is fully trained. Uh, so when I say model, I mean like a, a computer. I would like all institutions to be mo modelable in, in a computer such that uh the so, so the model has to be open source or free software uh uh and open to uh inspection by the public or at least everyone who interacts with the institution and uh, 
institutional models. should uh, account for um, all ecological inputs and outputs. Um, labor requirements and um, I'm Canadian, so I, I don't know if that's the correct Canadian spelling or not. Uh, we like to add use it after our O's. Uh, uh, so, yeah, so. When I say label requirements, I mean, um, yeah, and, and protect, uh, protect the privacy of people who work in the institution and people who interface with the institution. And uh, Yeah, institutional models should strive for a common spec such that they can be plugged into other models. Uh, such that you can create uh, Full models of an entire community, country, and ultimately create a full simulation of all ecological and economic activity. on the planet. So that's like the pie in the sky kind of a dream. I think like if we were able to have a, a full like imagine kind of a like Google Earth or or that was mixed with a little bit of like SimCity and civilization such that like you could see the whole planet and you could zoom out and you could see, uh, I don't know, when you're zoomed out, check out how much carbon's in the atmosphere and how much, and then zoom in a little bit and check out, okay, how many uh, trees are growing in this country and how many trees were cut down in that country. And uh, basically just a way to transparently keep track of everything that, that makes it easier for people to pay, participate and easier for people to get better access to information. And, and the reason I, I come up, I, I'm talking about it in crack products, it's, it's like a, kind of just like a long-term vision. Like this is kind of where I see like where we could go move beyond the, the argument between capitalism and socialism and try to try to build something with that works that people can agree to. Um, and I think it's hard to argue with the idea that uh, like everyone's always arguing for more transparency in government and people often ask for more uh, better working conditions for workers. And when I say institutions, I, I don't just mean, I, I mean all sorts of institutions. I mean everything from a, in, in the, that's, that's commercial from like a coffee shop to, to, to a giant conglomerate like Google or Disney and but uh, yeah, it's a little complicated. And, and of course, in those local institutions like uh, the libraries and and fire stations and hospitals. Uh, uh, yeah, and and like I think to work to uh, to work towards a, a democratic partocracy would mean that that institutions themselves would strive to 
to model their own institution in a transparent way that people have access to. And then eventually, yeah, we can plug all of these models together. And, and yeah, it, 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 so ideally, so um, if all of this stuff was modeled and somebody wanted to make an improvement, yeah, what, like, yeah. Ooh, yeah, it's and it, it's pretty hard just to be just like a simpleton trying to to grasp big ideas. But um, I, I guess I find it just really frustrating, like watching the news or listening to lectures of academics, and they're all just like, to me, arguing over how many angels can dance on the head of the pin of a needle. Um, uh, just working out like the metaphysics of a broken system when we should be dreaming about the new systems we want to build and 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 where this might be impossible to actually achieve and um i i mean i think it's achievable but the trick is to, to to get people to want to achieve it um but it, so But yeah, but creating these models, it, it, it enables people to participate better at a local level. And, it, and once the models are plugged together, it'll enable people to participate better at a, at a global level. And um, so I, I mentioned last time that like, um, Current intellectual property laws are kind of a a roadblock to democratic innovation. And like the intellectual property laws we have, like patents and copyrights, they were created to promote the progress of science and the arts. And I, I just don't think they work very well. I think um, that instead, like, whoa, and I, I think the, I don't think it's, it's possible to be a, a capitalist and be a proponent of contemporary intellectual property laws at the same time. I think well, patents prop up corporate monopolies that wouldn't exist otherwise. And same with copyrights. Um, I, th I think copyrights can be replaced with attribution rights and privacy rights and permission rights. And I believe Patent rights can be replaced with uh, royalty rights and attribution rights, and and the idea is that when when someone makes an innovation, instead of granting that person the monopoly on the innovation, uh, the innovation gets shared with with the world. I mean, like a patent, you are publicly supposedly sharing it with the world, but the way things work now. Uh, Patents, like eventually they become generic and some, and some things get out, but a lot of, sometimes they'll just make a small change and renew their patent for, and, uh, but yeah. But I think if, uh, instead of, if, if, of, of encouraging innovation with patent rights, if we encouraged royalty rights instead, such that anyone could take any innovation and run with it, if it helps their community or their local situation, 
um, and instead of then then it would help the distribution of of, of a of a of a valuable technology to go faster like one place you can see this clearly is is with uh with with drug with medical medications uh, uh like the uh, the, the I, I, I and i and i'm i'm not an expert on any of this stuff i, I just know that the the common refrain from the uh, pharmaceutical industry is is that like they they absolutely need their patents to raise the funding to do the research to create new drugs but like i am pretty sure that the, the there's a d demand for these drugs would exist anyway and And a lot of the funding is already public. Like a lot of the research is happening at public universities. And uh, before, I mean, they pay. They do pay a lot for for trials, and but there's there's very little transparency there. Uh, there's there's so, so many issues to get into. But uh, but I think I think it's enough that like like I think well I think m m m pharmaceuticals is different. Like like good. Like a pharmaceutical breakthrough, I think just needs to be shared, and the cost needs to be minimized, so it can be get to the people who need it a, as soon as possible. Um, but in 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 other areas where there's an innovation that say, well, like as as I say, as I, I mentioned last time, that the goal is to. Um, Another goal of dem de democratic protocracy basically the goal is to maximize our humanities collective ecological problem solve ecological competence collective competence i just call it collective competence i uh. yeah i'm having a really trouble just as like last time but i'm just going to keep talking So hold on, I, I need to take a quick break. Be back.
Hey, sorry. Yeah, just... Oh, it was getting a little hot. I had to crack some windows open. Uh, get a fan out. Just gets, uh, get a little nervous. I actually have people watching and... Um, it's... Yeah. Uh, it feels so strange to like to talk about all this stuff. Because I just basically... Yeah, I'm not able to... I'm not in a situation in real life where I can talk to anybody about this kind of stuff. So it's just like ideas that I've been thinking about for a long time. And it's like, ah, I want to... I want be able to talk about this stuff so i thought oh god i'll stream i'll stream this stuff Ooh, and i got out of that that's where that curse, curse word i'm trying not to to curse especially on these uh i got some gaming streams because i like to game too but uh and i just want to get used to streaming but I'm trying to not curse so much um but yeah so so yeah i'm i'm i'm, I'm an expert on nothing just, so i call myself sleepy dreamer sunrise because i basically am just a, a tired person with a lot of dreams who wants to share them so yeah i always have a really difficult talk time when i'm trying to like pin down what uh dem oh thanks dude <laughs> that's really kind of you um I have a, a, I struggle to uh, define what a d democratic plutocracy is, but um, but it's just the idea. Like I, I, I guess last week I, t I I talked about like the the Internet Engineering Task Force. And uh, so it's kind of where the who there's a group of people and institutions that developed the original protocols that the internet operates on, and they had this this ethos like we we reject uh, like I can't remember, I can't remember the exact quote. actually I have the quote in this document I just gotta scroll up. Yeah, we reject king's presidents and voting. We believe we believe in rough consensus and running code. So, like, what I see these like institutional models as is is basically just just running code and and the idea. I wish like everyone in in their own communities could just like, oh yeah, uh, do a little bit more experimentation with their local institutions by like changing the code a little here and then trying it. And yeah, so I guess it, yeah. So another basic idea of democratic protocracy is, is uh, I kind of talked about this whole intellectual property thing last week, so uh, I'm going to move on from that. But uh, some kind of periodic update uh, institutional models. Should have some form and I don't want to like be too specific about anything but I have lots of like ideas and in, 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 in this uh, so, so for periodic periodic update uh, that's democratic democratic so so like that as so so we you have an institution say you have a hospital or something and you had a model for it and everyone agreed to it and then someday we said okay we we have an open institutional model for a hospital and we're going to try it and we're going to run it and then as the year goes by people can see how it's going and um and i think it, like wouldn't it be neat to say if you're sitting like in the waiting room of a hospital because we have really long wait times here in canada unfortunately at the moment but i guess it's kind of a problem on a lot of places um if you could like while you're waiting there if you could actually see why it was taking so long and like what changes could be made to make the wait time shorter and then like say at the end of the year when you can have like a kind of a democratic debate and how you have this democratic debate that's what i want to talk about next that's that's the conflict resolution platform i want to propose next but so but the idea is there needs to be some kind of democratic periodic update uh that 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 that, that in which in, all um, affected are all all stakeholders. I guess maybe I could say all stakeholders. I don't know if um, get to 
So yeah, if we have an open, so the, the, they, they can all kind of like make changes as the years goes by uh, to the model and, and test out the changes in the simulation. And at the end of the year, they can have like a debate and vote for what changes they want to commit to the institution. Get to this uh, model in a simulation. And then commit. And, and I think like what this does, uh, like what, well, here's another goal is basically to decouple, that's uh, issues. So like right, right now it's like, everything is super tightly coupled. Like I, I come from a, a, a computer science background, so I guess I'm going to probably end up using computer science metaphors here and there. And, uh, but, but, but I think the, the word coupled and decoupling, I've heard it used in, in other scenarios too. I think I, I really enjoy the Rationally Speaking podcast and someone a few weeks ago was talking about it in a philosophical sense of, coupling and decoupling philosophical notions but the idea is like like in canada we have these problems with things called omnibus bills where a million issues are shoved into a single bill and voted on in a single day and i think i think if we had a democratic protocracy we, we'd be able to be able to do like like fine grained voting on basically all issues Uh, and, and, and this what, 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 meaning this would mean that um, the people uh, it, would, it would make it possible for people to vote for issues that affect them without uh dare with, 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 with while causing minimal side effects to other issues And that's kind of a problem right now, like with our political, how our, our, our government is, is broken up into political parties, um, each, it, 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 so decouple issues and basically depolarize. Politics. Because, yeah. Because it, it sucks. Like right now, they say that if someone says they're like, I, I heard polls like for in the U.S. If someone says they're a Republican, you can almost you can predict pretty well what they think about a broad range of issues. And similar, if someone says they're a Democrat, you can predict. And and sometimes these issues shouldn't have any correlation. Um. But uh. But but it seems like when it, when it, when everybody's voting for a political party or a political leader, they're always having to like there's maybe one or two. Everyone's got a different wedge issue that leads them to a political candidate, and, and but then like all the other issues that they don't care so much about that other people do care a lot about uh, don't get the attention they deserve. And in, in, in a democratic protocracy where everything's kind of broken down and people get to vote on like one issue at a time, what a lo one local institution at a time. Um, then the, yeah, I think voter, voter turnout would be better because, uh, well, people would vote for the issues that actually affect them and, and they would ignore issues that don't affect them. But then, so, so hopefully ensure that 
people get us yeah i don't know how to word this uh maybe that's enough for now on that i think that's i got the idea across well enough but yeah decouple issues so yeah, now, yeah, I guess now it's time to actually uh, move, move on to what was supposed to be my topic of tonight and will be the topic of future streams for uh, maybe the rest of my life. I have no idea. Um, and that's towards, I want to introduce a, I call it the, so, so far this is the best name I have for it and yeah. Basically, intersectional collaborative conflict resolution platform. But it's kind of like, yeah, sorry. I feel like I'm talking too loudly sometimes. Uh, so this is this is basically when I talk about like periodically updating uh, a protocol, a, a, a modeled institution. Um, here's how. Here's one way that I think would be a good way to do that. But I think this would be good. To, I, this is this aims to be a tool in general. Like what I think more generally, this can be kind of kind of seen as just. A better platform for online discussions. It's also a better platform for collaboration in general. For large scale. So like a, a, a lot of this, I guess, like what, what problem am I trying to solve? I'm trying to solve the problem, the fact that we, humanity sucks at, 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 at talking to each other, <laughs> at least right now. It's without, without, we, we seem to be really, we, we're bad at resolving conflicts. So I guess, yeah, it's already in the title, but, uh. Well, like our current, like the best technology we have right now, the, 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 where political discussions are happening, like on Reddit and Facebook and, and like platforms at Wikipedia. I love Wikipedia. I think that's, I think it's awesome, but I think it's, I think we can, we can do more. We can do, I think, uh, yeah, like, I th like the, the existence of Wikipedia is, is one of the things that gives me hope that what I want to build is even possible to build because it exists and it's, and it's kind of open and, and it's crowd funded and like people pay for it because it's, it provides a really useful function and because people believe in it. And, uh, but at the same time, like, I think, I think if anyone was going to build the platform that I'm proposing right now, that like the the Wikimedia organization would is the most in place to do it. Uh, but like I don't know anybody there, and I really even don't even know much about. Because I I mentioned last week that, that that Wikipedia probably right now at the moment has one of the most advanced conflict resolution systems online or conflict resolution communities because they're always trying to resolve their conflicts to create their neutral point of view for every article and that, this can get really complicated with when when an article is on a topic that has any controversy associated with it and and i don't know a heck of a lot about how their conflict resolution system works except for that it's a, it's it's a very you can see it take place in their discussion pages 
and it's it's transparent and it, they have a set of guidelines and rules and they all try and it, but it's, it's it's really people hashing it out using using the very bare bones tools that wiki I, maybe they've improved since then i really should look into it because the last time i looked they were basically just making edits to a, a wiki page to to have discuss a back and forth discussion with each other and it works which which works well enough but i think like if there was tools specifically designed uh for managing those conflicts it might help them but like the the, the thing is uh yeah what i want to build is is can be imagined as uh so. It's kind of a high, yeah, a basic idea. Rough, rough concept. I mean, it's a hybrid uh, Wikipedia. Reddit. So, so the idea of, of okay, well, I'm just gonna introduce it right now. I, I, be, I, I bought a domain already. I don't know if I want to share it yet because I don't know. I'll never get that popular. It'll be an issue, but it's. Uh, I don't. I don't know if I should share the name of it just yet. So, I mean, I have like two viewers, but like I, I just. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. And that's the other thing is, if anyone ever gives you a, a URL, don't don't go to it unless you really trust them. And I, I don't expect anyone to trust me yet. So yeah, because if, if someone gives you a URL, because once you go to somebody's URL that they host, they can see your IP address. So so it's like if you're in Twitch chat and you're like like you, you, I have no idea who you are, I don't know where you come from. But if you go to my website, all of a sudden I can know all the stuff about you that I don't really want to know <laughs> just yet. So like I, I do want to have a platform. I, well, I don't ever want to know that. Stuff. Preferably, I would never know that stuff. Uh, but um, so yeah, I, I guess I won't share my domain name yet. But I, I got one picked out. Um, what am I gonna say? Like, yeah, I'll go back to the rough concept. Rough concept. Let's try to define it in a sense. So instead of imagine Wikipedia, except instead. But yeah, as I was saying, like in the, the Wikipedia's conflict resolution is is it's 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 really just it's 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 like kind of like just an old it seems more like an old fashioned uh, democratic process. That's that they just kind of worked on to editing wiki pages to it with with a bunch of guidelines that they can go through to come to whatever resolution that they need to. But like, whereas I I I I, I want to build a a platform that's a lot like Wikipedia, except instead of so in Wikipedia for every article you have a, a neutral point of view and for and that's it. And and, and it's, it's, yeah, I think I mentioned this last time too. But instead of uh. Neutral point of view or an article. And I don't even know if article is a taxonomy I want to use, but art, art, art. we try to. I got to give my, I got to give it a name. I'll call it ICCR. I'll just call it ICCR. ICCRP. It's, it's, yes, in RC, at RC, RC, ICCRP 
tries to best represent every point of view. And I kind of almost want to underline this. Oops. That control you underlined. Uh, and also have a system for in taxonomy for highlighting the differences. And now, so it's kind of going to require a complex taxonomy that I think I have to talk about more before this makes as much sense. But yeah, like I, I so like it, it we're, we're, I think a lot, uh, most of the discussion these days is happening on on yeah on social platforms like Facebook and and also and YouTube and Twitter and Reddit. The, I think that's like kind of like the mainstream internet discussion. I won't get into like of course there's many off brands. Many blogs many other places that people hang out a lot of like yeah the blog space is a really kind of where, where there's more more isolated communities it, um but uh so the, i think there's like right now on the internet there's a, there's a lot of self-expression so all these groups are able to express themselves every group is able to create a reddit provided they're not too um out there or and have discussions from about news topics from their point of view and uh, and then of course, anyone can create a Twitter. I think Reddit right now kind of does the best job in letting people organize themselves into groups. And I think that's very important. Like I kind of want to do that too. So that's why I say this is, I, I imagine a, a hybrid of, of Wikipedia and, and Reddit. Whereas, so, so for every, like in, in, in Reddit, um, when a news story comes out, you can click on related subreddits so you can see different subreddits their take on the story and then you just have this comment system and the comment system they use is basically the same comment system that's been around since the 90s it hasn't really seen much innovation in terms of it's just like upvote downvote with karma and but now well, there's a lot of each there's a lot of like interesting moderation rules that people can apply and uh in a lot of different ways to play on the basic tools to do interesting things like the change my view subreddit has an interesting concept worth with the delta where, where you can say oh this this argument actually did change my view and that's that's uh like, like that's a really interesting expansion on the tools to to better facilitate discussion and conflict conflict resolution on reddit itself uh but i think by by and large though it's like the communities are still kind of isolating and people are going into their bubbles and they're getting angry and they're getting angry getting angry at the people who are in the groups that don't think like them and uh there's very very little intersection there's some like actual like subreddits that are actually like debate subreddits between like two groups of people but i find they're typically uh overrepresented by one side or the other and and while some a lot of interesting discussion takes place on these things i think that uh, here, another problem a problem with the current war, 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 yeah problems I hope to solve with this platform solve problems this platform can hopefully solve So, like one one problem. Okay, so I, I was I kind of just diverged. I was talking about how people they're, they're, there's there's little communication between people who feel different ways. Like you don't see people in the Trump subreddit talking to people in the politics subreddit very often, and maybe there's some kind of debate subreddit between those two. I actually haven't looked for it, but 
uh, I have seen like the, some, you know, subreddits with people with conservative views that are uh, a lot more articulate than what is typically linked to. I yeah, I'm I'm, I'm not a fan of of. <laughs> Of 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 of, uh, of Trump <laughs> or any of the I, and I, I'm not really a fan of almost any of our, of our of our political system. I'm not really a fan of. I'm just not a fan of how we do things in general. Uh, but I don't. Yeah, yeah. And 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 it concerns me that people would put any faith in any kind of leader. I I, I want to kind of build. I'm hoping to build like a a society that can operate smoothly without leaders. <laughs> uh because I think any kind of a leader is, is a single point of failure, and why would you want a single point of failure in your system? And so, anyways, moving on from that, I, but yeah, I just wanted to, too many sides. I just, hold on. Yeah. I, I just want to say, like, that people who, who with diametrically opposed views are, are unable to reach each other. Yeah, like, you could, on, on, that, but, 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 the thing is, in general, though, I think I think people have more in common than they realize, and often media as it is today is specifically highlighting differences and stirring up conflicts. And I, I talked a little bit last time about basically a polarization industrial complex where people are getting paid to make people angry at each other and anger sells unfortunately because when people are upset they they want a resolution and but instead of getting resolutions they're just being fed more and more anger and i want to stop that i i'm hoping this kind of a platform would be a place for people to go to Find common ground, better understand people on the other side of whatever spectrum they're on the other side of them of. And so, so yeah, so problems I'm hoping to solve. Polarization, I guess. But also, well, yeah, what I wanted to switch talking to about is how uh, current media is bad at providing context and bad at preserving good arguments. So it's like you might have an amazing discussion on Reddit and somebody posts a mind blowing, like everyone who reads it is like, wow, yeah, man, that guy changed my view. I never thought about it that way before. And then maybe that'll happen. And then, you know, 10 days later, almost no one will ever see it or hear about it ever again. And like, what I would hope that this platform could do uh, is, is, is allow the best arguments to be. Um, to to uh, allow. So I want to preserve basic. So ICC. I just want to say ICC RP aims to give uh, basically. Imagine a story comes out. And that's where the taxonomy comes in. The story comes out. I want I want people to be able to. Well, thing is, like every every, every group, I, uh, yeah. Thing is, like I want to say something, but then before I say that, I have to say something else, and then before I say that, I have to say something else, and then I just get caught in the loop, and then I don't know what to say. <laughs> uh, so. But we're gonna just keep pushing forward and see what happens. Um, aims to give context 
to news and events as they happen such that arguments and narratives can be honed over time. Now, the thing is, so I feel like I want to just start talking about the platform itself, like what it actually looks like kind of doing that. So, yeah. So I I want to reduce polarization decouple issues aims to by highlighting both by highlighting common ground and being as specific as possible about differences So yeah, I guess I'm just going to, how long have I been streaming? Do I see that? I guess an hour and 20 minutes. So I'm going to, for the next hour, I want to talk about what, what, what does the RCI, okay, ICC RP design. So hopefully, if not this, like hopefully next stream, Instead of seeing a text document on the other half of the screen, it'll be uh, source code. And so, but the basic idea, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm not really a great programmer or anything. I have a little, I have a computer science degree, uh, and I got a, a job in, I, in basically data science, but. Uh, I, yeah. Kind of uh, a part-time worker. Like I, I have two jobs. One of the one of the jobs is a data scientist. The other job is a, a caretaker. And yeah, I don't I don't think my my development skills are the best, but I have some. I know how to use uh, Python a little bit. I've played around with Django a little bit. Uh, I've I know how to use Docker uh, and Git and these kinds of things. So that's what I'm gonna try to you to use going forward. I guess and uh, yeah. So f first thing, this I want the I, so so hopefully that's that's what we'll be working with next time. So now I just want to talk about the design. Like what 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 do I want to build? I want to build. Well, like ultimately, I want it to be a federated service that anyone 
can run their own server. I wanted to have organic. I used to, when I used to, I had a job like over a decade ago where I was, I was making websites for people and I used Drupal. Um, and Drupal is, it's like a PHP online, like uh framework for making just websites for interactive websites and web platforms. Uh, it was, it's, it's pretty, I think it's still like quite commonly used and the one, one, one feature that it had that I really liked was, was the organic groups module. And I don't know how, what, what, uh, how much I describe, um, is similar to what they've already done, but the idea is inspired. I'll just say, I got to talk about organic groups for a bit. You can think of maybe like in, in the red, keeping the red metaphor going. Uh, you can almost think of a group as a, as as a subreddit, but um, can be formed. This is where the intersectionalism comes in. I guess I should uh, formed by. Uh, by any group can be forked. Can have their own moderation rules. Can have their own collective so like when i say groups like I, I want basically anyone to who has any like any anybody can create a group just like anyone can create a, sub, a subreddit and but um um if they can Run basically. Uh, so 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 can so a, a group should be able to claim to represent um any. Community, but um, I mean, I like it. I just get lost in the weeds in my thoughts. But where's this is trickle? Like, I want anyone who has any any special interest or or, or who is looking out for the 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 interests of any group to be able to form a new group. Okay, so. So, so what, that's why I say they can claim to represent any community, but they might, even though, whether they actually do represent a community or not, it would have to, it would, have, would be its own conflict resolution process. <laughs> and, and then it gets meta and regressive and, uh, or, Sorry, not regressive, but uh, what's the word? Recursive. <laughs> but uh, so I, uh, I it's con but what whether whether they actually do <laughs> represent that community has to be verified. Democratically, so, and the way the way I think that that can possibly happen is basically uh, 
um, basically, we, 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 it's basically like super groups. Like gr groups can um, form super groups. Or a collection of groups, or meta group. Uh, I, I want to show what, like, like groups can form into groups of groups. Um, around. various issues and groups can be And of course, like not just groups of groups, but groups of groups of groups. <laughs> uh, such just a short formula, and it ended. Yeah. So maybe if I gave an example, like. So. And so subgroups, and that similarly subgroups should be to be able to divide into further subgroups, such as like totally organic uh, up and down the the group network that. It, trying to I'm trying to think of an example that's not too politically fraught, but it's like all the ones I can think of are all politically fraught in one way or another that I'm. Um, But like like a, a group could be formed on uh, based on like uh, around a community like uh, okay this is our, our local like this is our city group and then in the city group you could have okay this are the minority groups that are part of the city group and in each minority group you might have and and, and each group okay each group is formed can be formed by anyone um all participation in a group is voluntary. Um, formation of meta groups um, need, should be a democratic decision of the participant people in each group um creating a subgroup Merely, it, it, subgroups can just be created by anyone. So the, yeah.
So a group is a little more complex entity in this platform than like the Reddit metaphor breaks down. Like Reddit doesn't really even have this organic thing. It's just, it's kind of just flat. It's just like every, every subreddit is just completely distinct. It doesn't really have much of a relationship with other subreddits unless, you know, they can link on their sidebars or whatever. But this, this is kind of like a more, uh, like as, as it's basically like a, an organizational tool. Like, so if, if, if different groups, want to collaborate on an issue they can just form a, a meta group around that issue and if they you know say they want to form a group a meta group around that issue but not about a, a different issue then like that's that's totally possible so like one collection of groups can work together on one issue and a different and then in the same and 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 then some a subset of that group group up with yet more people on a different issue that maybe some people in the first group wouldn't necessarily care about or agree with. What else do I want to say about groups? Probably a whole lot. <laughs> um, I got, maybe I'd talk about individual groups. Each group has, I guess I say up there already that yeah, this maybe this we'll move these two points down here. Each group has their own moderation rules. Each group can claim to represent any community, but whether they has to be verified democratically. So, I mean, yeah, you could have AG, you could have uh, different groups of people or just, just different groups claim to re represent the same community. All right, like if more than one then these become competing groups and not like each group would have I imagine different individuals in it and and, 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 and I don't know if competing groups is the right word I'll just use it for now though um but the idea is like, yeah, and they they can be basically uh, tools that will be described can be used to resolve conflicts between competing groups. But I'm going to get that later. We're not there yet. We're still just talking about the groups. Um, so, yeah. Each group can have issues that it cares about. Or focuses on have multiple but you know uh, and, and if uh, if uh, conflict within the group over an issue arises
um, the group can be split on that issue. And like people decide which side of the issue they want and which side of, and then and 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 then they go into the conflict resolution segment. Um so and like people like might agree on almost on like say say uh, a group has like five issues that it's it's uh, collaborating for, towards, and it might not, or maybe a meta group, and then all the and uh, a disagreement comes up in one of them. Well, they can still, everyone can still work together on the other four issues, but they go into like a conflict resolution mode on the fifth issue. Um, each group. tries goal of each group should a goal should be to provide a Basically, a, a narrative around every about each issue it is I guess that's a goal. Yeah, the goal of each group should be provided. Our goal of each group should be to provide a narrative of each issue. Uh, so that when you go to, um, I, I, I think like yeah, the the issue that I want to address first would be climate change and um, so I. So, 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 so what do I hope this tool would be able to? So, what I was talking about, I was trying touching on earlier, was that these platforms like Reddit and Facebook and Twitter and YouTube, they kind of suck at providing like a, a long historical context, um, and even the printed media, like you often journal articles try try to tell a uh, try to put a news story into context. But the new story itself gets kind of lost, and all the words in it get lost, and all the data in it gets lost. But like the data is still relevant, and and the ideas are always still relevant. So the idea here is that if 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 if, if this group has near uh, has issues that it's concerned with, then like the 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 the, the aim of the group should be to provide like the group's best narrative, its best argument about that issue, like. A goal, goal should be the best, most most cohesive, most thorough. So I don't know if we're to call this a narrative or an org ar argument. So I'm thinking like about the taxonomy now. Um, I think this is a narrative because both argument and narrative, I think, are kind of somewhat distinct. Or I want to. Sorry for the noise outside. I don't know if you hear that. Uh, motorbike just went by. 
Uh, so now the best one here is a narrative for that attempts to inform. So it's like this is like the Wikipedia article about the uh, an issue um and each so yeah where i compare it to wikipedia so and uh, when you go to a wikipedia site for uh, a specific topic they have the neutral point of view and whereas here i want instead of like up at the top i want you i want to see tabs whereas maybe the what you see when you, is like the most popular point of view but then above it on, on the tabs uh, you would see like the second most popular point of view the third most popular point of view and and then it should go on from there and then and even within there might be sub yeah getting ahead of myself but yeah the idea is so we, it's, I'm, I'm taking too long to say this uh, attempts to to inform and persuade Yeah, and it also effort should be made. Uh, there also needs to be, I guess, a meta narrative. Each group should have. kind of a uh, I think I want to break this down a little bit more a narrative about each um, I just want to get this all on the same page and yeah uh, and also uh A meta narrative. That unites all the groups issues. So, and what I'm hoping that, that this will provide is, is like say a new news story comes out and each group is able to put that story into context and use perhaps a story to augment their narrative or perhaps use the story to criticize a different narrative that another group is having, but that goes into the conflict resolution part. But So this is first, this is for starters, like long-term, like I, what I'd really like to see is like long-term. Like for, like for, for starters, I'm just going to keep it as a, as a just simple to discussion platform, but in the future, I, I want it to actually be a actual modeling platform um, uh, ability to, but I, I think I'll, for now I'll just, I'm gonna link to, yeah. 
Okay, so uh, I kind of want to give away my domain name again. Okay, so instead of uh, so each group has their own moderation rules. So each group. can have their own I'm going to call these standards of rigor how many times did I use the wrong there I'll think a lot yeah my grammar is almost as bad as my spelling. And what I mean by a standard of rigor is... Okay. So I guess I'm... I think I just have to get into taxonomy. That's the only way. But I basically have been talking about like the groups, but I'm getting into the more conflict resolution part. So these are just like keywords. Even using the word taxonomy, right? I don't know. All right. So th these are kind of just like the broad concepts. So we have narratives. I'm just going to list them first. Claims, context, links between. We have news. Issues. These are ones that we've brought up already. Uh, arguments. Evidence, what kind of evidence I'm talking about? Okay, this could be raw data. And can't have raw data without metadata about how the raw data was collected and what assumptions were made.
Um, models. Predictive models. Um, I don't know what else to call this, but standard of rigor. And this is basically this needs to be an rationale for the groups. Um, Standards regarding uh, I don't know, data quality. And Accepted models. All right, I'm going to take another short break and I'll be right back.
Ooh, okay. Uh, yeah. So I think those are like the main ideas. Like there's so many other concept or kind of like keywords, I guess, that I think are going to be relevant. But I think those are kind of the main ones I want to work with. Uh, so we have this idea of this basically organic group structure where you can have super groups and groups of groups and subgroups that just basically split based on the, the willingness of the, of people to either participate or, or not in, in whatever group. <clears throat> and, um, like there's so many, so many, um, so many layers and so many complications in terms of like security in terms of making the system so it's such that it's not gameable like I, the, I, the the goal of the system is to is is to, is to build a, a collaboration tool that's as hard as possible to game i guess i should talk about that for making okay i should talk about that for a bit making it how to make it hard to game Tries to be hard to be resistant. I don't know. E. Why can't I spell? Google knows how to spell. Oh, I didn't. There we go. I didn't see the missing S. Okay, ICB tries to be resistant to being gamed by automated systems. and well-funded or So, the it, it, and the the yeah. and one one way that I'm basically uh, to resist being gamed, like I think the the fact that the organic group structure would kind of help, but the uh, another thing basically is uh, uh, a protocol for. Uh, he's basically human ver for human verification beyond captcha basically like basically uh, as slow as this might be to grow I think uh, access to a group uh, to to platform or basically I don't know how I can describe this perfectly, but it's not. It, basically, basic idea is 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 just like invite only <laughs> for 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 initially initially invite only. Um, bots allowed, but must be um, identified as a bot um when i say bot like I, I don't know maybe someday we'll actually have artificial intelligence and of course any artificial uh sentient being would be totally welcome to use the platform as an individual um when i say a bot i am referring to a uh thoughtless machine <laughs> that's yeah that was just coded to 
disrupt like a, a spam bot or whatever. So future AI, don't, I'm not talking about you when I say bot. <laughs> um, bots must be uh, bots. So so yeah, a bot pretending to be would be banned or or whatever. Like whatever. I think that's just, uh, that's. Um, And I want to have some, like there could be a could be a like to, to like to access this is this is just to prevent it from being gamed, but to access uh, maybe, maybe this is, wouldn't be necessary. I don't know. So system, uh, yeah, there there could be there. Yeah, so there could be if I could say, say, say this was actually gaining traction and people are actually signing up to use this when it exists, there would should be, um, uh, uh, like, but, but, but when I say a protocol for human verification, like there could be say, I mean, maybe it's just me and I'm live streaming or just, 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 or just, just something like, some, just like basically to gain access. Uh, I, I'm thinking like a, a system. Basically, anyone can anyone can invite anyone to the system. But if someone but can lose their invite privileges uh, if they. Uh, They, if they abuse the system, like I don't know, one way would be, would be like to invite a, a bot claiming it's a person to to, and another would be to. Uh, like create multiple accounts just for one person. The one thing that this would be difficult, uh, this human verification procedure would not be able to prevent like somebody from actually just paying a group of people to participate in one group or another but that i'm thinking like yeah so each group actually can have its own human verification or yeah uh, protocol, and that means like or just uh st maybe stakeholder verification pro and that's like basically so if 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 you want to join a group you think you're a valid stakeholder in the issue that the group cares about uh the group has to have basically some kind of like recruitment system where they where they have a human talk to the humans that want to join and and verify that they say if they want to join like say um okay and then it, so yeah i want to say like So yeah, anonymous and pseudonymous. Hold on a sec, sorry. Yeah, anonymous and pseudonymous. Accounts are allowed. But, um, I think just, just the very act of keeping track of, okay, this is a verified person that lives in this community that's affected by this issue that this group cares about. 
somehow that that protects that individual's privacy um would basically like improve the uh that that, that a group's not just uh faking <laughs> so uh uh, so and like people can still should be able to publish anonymously absolutely and or pseudonymously pseudonymous is basically anonymous except you can build a, a reputation for your pseudonymous account but i think when it comes to deciding like a, a local issues the fact of that a, a group that's uh, discussing that issue actually has verified stakeholders should, would be really relevant as to how much sway that that uh, group has in the deliberations about the issue. Um, so, but I'm hoping that, like, I don't, I don't know, I don't think it's really, yeah, like, whereas, like, so, 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 yeah, so, yeah. Whoops. So, 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 can gain reputation through participation but um Uh, I, I just don't think like like a, a pseudonymous collective should uh, ever. Yeah, this should. Yeah. What do I want to say? So they can gain represent reputation through participation but um um basically i, I guess what, what i want to say is uh yeah verified stakeholders should could have um veto powers within the group. But I mean, if the pseudonymous users wanted to break up out of the group and create their own group, but if they actually wanted to change a local institution, it would probably be important for someone in the group to step forward as being actually related to or affected by the institution. Whew. Yeah, th th this is so. Every every single step of this is intellectual. It's just philosophically fraught and politically fraught. And there's and there's so many ways to do this wrong. And there's so many. But but I guess I think I think but like I can't I can't solve all the problems. I I can't totally prevent the system from being gamed. But I'm just uh, these are just random ideas to make to make a bef a best effort. And hopefully, like better ideas will come over time. Oh, I see. see. Oh, another thing. Yeah, I should have said this. I said this last time, but it has to be. So this platform that I'm talking about, it's uh, yeah, free software. So anyone anyone can host their own server any server 
can in closer and choose which uh, groups it's it hosts. Uh, aims to be. I guess did I say I wanted to be a federated service? Yeah, federated service right there. Uh, anyone can run their server. And I don't know. Yeah, I just want to say like if there, if there's anyone out there who who wants to steal these ideas and is a better coder than me and just wants to go and do it doesn't even care to tell me about it. That's totally cool. Like I I just love to see this stuff get built. This whole talk is being published uh Creative Commons attribution and all my code is going to be published under the Afero GPL um license which is a free software license. So anyone can use it. And yeah, so like the thing is like when when I host this, I want to host this. I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of limit the amount of groups that are the are, the, are topics that can be represented because because basically I as much as I I think that this can be a tool for um resolving like even deep conflicts that are I I don't personally want to host servers that uh i guess certain groups there's there's certain groups who i, I wouldn't want to host the data for but like those groups can uh they can take the code and they can and they can use their own servers and what what i do want to do is have an interface such that um yeah so basically if two groups on different servers choose to interface or, or to resolve a conflict then um, each server needs to mirror the content of opposing groups and furthermore, um, neutral third party servers should mirror the content of both groups to verify to help verify the authenticity of each group's content. So like I ultimately I want to like basically have a server but then anyone can host a server and there'll be servers of servers and like ultimately it would be nice if I had talked last week about how I'd like every every local community have like a local data bank and so like maybe like someday in the future that's where this kind of uh, model would go is in the local data data bank so local groups and then in the, the, in the and then it could be uh and then and then lar and on a larger scale the there would be larger servers to that bundle the data from the, the smaller local communities. So it's like say, say statewide or provincial wide or even countrywide, or, and not necessarily geographically distributed groups either. They could be distributed by issues or in any number of ways. Um, yeah. So yeah. Anyway, no, that's enough for that. Okay. Um So now I kind of just want to like actually start drawing <laughs> pictures. I'm not exactly set up. Um I'm going to talk about like user interface. Um, can I do that? Uh, 
I can't, I have, I have like a surface and I could set that up so I could just draw on it and that would be ideal. But for now, maybe I'll just have this program open. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. I draw. Um, maybe maybe next time I'll I'll do the drawing and I'll just it's it's getting late and I'm <laughs> a little tired so I'm gonna just. Try to, try to give a brief overview of the, uh, just a textual description of the user interface, user interface. So, front page. Okay, front page. We'd have a list of uh, major news stories or topics. Major that that are being discussed. And it's like kind of a little bit, a little bit like Reddit, where you see. Or even like Wikipedia's news page, where you just and uh, no, but the difference is in Reddit when you click, you you just have the article and you have the comments. Now, and and this when you when instead of when you click on a on a on a news story, um. Instead of like a comments button, it'll be discussions button. And um, so so like on, on the Wikipedia news site or Wiki News, you click on it and it just kind of goes to like a wiki article about about the news event. And on this, instead, like, we'll take you to a page where um, takes you to a news analysis page. And on the news analysis page, you basically see a list of groups discussing the topic. So it's kind of like skipping straight to that on a Reddit, like related discussions, except and a graph. I want to see a graph of the conflicts between groups that have. Uh, disagreements. Now, clicking on, um, you 
Okay, and this is the BB. Yeah. Sorted by, you know, the size of the popularity. Being controversial. Uh, conflict. And now... And the the list of groups discussing the topic, um, it's not just simple a list, like each list uh, I mean, I, I want, I want, basically, it could be a list, but it can be expanded. Um, or each. Um, the list of groups. Sorry, sorry, okay, a list of claims. So, and this is where the work comes in, like, yeah, so on, on Reddit, the, the, all, all you can do is discuss. Uh, so, but like on this, I, I, I want, by adding and in, introducing the taxonomy, I'm hoping that like, we can actually build a, a more, uh, interesting uh, data resource that could be searchable by both humans and machines uh, to provide better context about the article. So, so, well, so a list of claims generated by all groups also um, sorted by um, this is where the rigor attributes come in. Such as, and I should, yeah, I didn't really list this yet. I'll just, I guess I'll list them here. Um, so. So each so each claim uh, so I, I I think every narrative and every article every news story is can, can be uh can be broken down into claims like ideally um this is hard to do because of copyright law but uh you could have a list of every claim in the article along with like the line number of in the article where the claim was made and and then each claim could have um so each claim i should maybe go back to the taxonomy to talk about this there should have yeah maybe i'll just do that claims So, yeah, it's standards of figuring claims. So, uh, how do I want to describe this? Mm, not sure if that's the right place, but I'm just going to go back to where I was. Each claim should, uh, okay, so each group.
Yeah, so each group has its own claims and some some claims. So, okay, so regress such as a number of groups that sh sh support the claim. So each group can support claims. And their claims are supposed to sort the group's narrative. So uh, the number of groups that can support the claim and um, the common standards of rigor. held by all or most of the groups making the claim making or making or disputing some some groups have yeah dis there's claims and disputed claims and each claim can be disputed so the common th by most groups making or disputing the claim And so an example of this would be like, e.g. actual citations. Citations. Um, um, established data sets. Uh, and here I'm just saying, like, you know, um, how would you uh, verified um, so say, like, you're saying, like, the Earth's getting warmer, you can, uh, and that's the claim. I mean, you can give it tons of citations, and you could also include um, it's hard to quantify this. This is a problem, so I don't know if we can sort by it. Uh, but the, like the amount of data that supports that, and the thing is, there's, there's so many different kinds of data. But like, um, so I so I, let's say yeah, number of citations. Um, number of uh, isolated or independent so you could have same satellite imagery would just count as one data source and uh, sampling from ice caps would be another data source and temperature gauges would be another data source and so the, such that like and these things and the, these, these should be counted as separate and that like the, the, the more like separate input sources that uh, support the same claim should like basically help verify the claim and and then once you have like say a count of these independent data sources you could use it to sort claims and so such as like the, the strongest and uh, uh the most well supported claim is at the top of the list and the most controversial claims are in a separate list and this is just like a go the goal here is just to just yeah like 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 the more data the better the more data this is basically just, yeah just to create metadata that supports claims that people can use to make it easy as possible for people who want to verify verify the legitimacy of a claim in a new source uh any other common standards of rigor um say like number of independent experiments and uh, 
Then another thing is like I don't know how to work all this in, but like uh accuracy. Um sometimes there's predictive models. And so we can go for like the And like this gets all complicated, so but that's why I want each each group to to have its own standards of rigor, and then there can also be like uh so when and when when a group groups up with a, another group, they might want to first verify that they have the same standards of rigor before they group up, and and the standards of rigor themselves are the subject to conflict resolution. So, and I was just talking about the user interface, but yeah. So, list of groups discussing the topic could be sorted by popularity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to, I want to see a graph. Left, left, right, and and then. So. So for 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 every news story uh, the group So clicking on a news story takes you to a news analyst page and you see these these things but then like cl clicking on uh the on a particular groups take on the story it takes you so you click on the group you see At the top of the page, should be a wiki, like a wiki, uh, basically an executive summary of created, created, created in a wiki. Fashion of the like it just like written paragraphs, uh, yeah, of uh, what the article is about what claims are made and how it fits into the group's narrative context. Um... 
And then, okay, followed by, followed by the list of claims. Followed by the discussion. And this kind of format, I think, will be the same for the claims themselves. But yeah, but claims, yeah, no, actually, no, yeah. Like, uh, followed by a more traditional Reddit style discussion. And at, at the top of this page, I'd like uh, there should be a tab to like the most competing view. And similarly, um, clicking. on a link in the uh, conflict graph. So like I'm imagining say like there's different groups that have different perspectives. Well, groups that are grouped together would be grouped together on the graph and then groups that are have different views would be split apart. And then there'll be a line drawn between them, which would be the conflict line. And then if you click on that line, you'll see, um, or in other places also by clicking on the tab at the top of the screen, or you, I want to be able to see a conflict uh, page uh, brings up a side by side. of the news page for both groups. No. Okay, and oh yeah, each each page has to have a um basically on a criticism column, I'll call it. Now the criticism column is such that, like imagine like similar to say you're editing a, a document in Google Docs. And then, but instead of just in your, you're editing for a friend, but instead of editing, you're, you're just putting comments on the side, like when little comment bubbles type of a thing. So, so I, I, I would like every page to have basically a criticism column and in the criticism, the criticism column can be, um, internal, like at the, at the top of the criticism. You choose which group you want the criticism, which you choose which groups criticism 
you want displayed. And so, and you could have internal criticism too, yeah. including Um, but the idea is like, so say if in the criticism column, you can like say if, if, if people from different groups took the time to criticize this particular groups, because say this group was the most popular and this is a, and they're trying to, you know, criticize the mainstream opinion or whatever of the mainstream group. Um, uh, like e each group could form its own list of criticisms and at the top of that, conflict or the criticism column basically you have a, a, a yeah basically a drop down of of of, of a sorted list of of the most active criticisms yeah And I think this this sounds like a lot of work and why would anyone want to do this? But I just think if it could start, then people would find it more rewarding than say just writing a comment on Reddit that gets lost in the sands of time for eternity. Instead, like this, I hope people could see is actually builds a broad base of knowledge and common understanding that can grow in, in like the same way Wikipedia grow and and hopefully eventually someday it could be a valuable enough to actually make inroads and in solving some of these conflicts okay but so that's the, that's the criticism column and okay, I guess it gets another text on criticism Um, critique. So now, and the thing is, like every critique itself is another article with its own list of claims, its own executive summary, its own discussion, and its own criticism column. And like the idea is I just want to build like a, 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 an object that can be used for all of these different taxonomies that can just can recursively build on itself and form a giant network of knowledge. Um, and I, I think so, so, as long as like the, uh, the user interface is clear enough, uh, people actually find it useful. Uh, what do I want to say next? Yeah, uh, each yeah, and, and I guess like one one's important is uh, clicking on a claim. The claim page is kind of important. Uh, yeah, bring split my page. But I just want to say that claims have more uh, So how do, yeah, it's like Claims also have an executive summary. And, and, but the 
claims can uh, claims can have subclaims. Claims. Uh, it's a similar format. They, they, they claims have a similar format to uh, news analysis pages, except they make they explicitly. Uh, identify uh, standards of rigor direct links to supporting evidence you know, like in the future I'd love it if I could embed models and data into the server itself, but you know, that's so. But otherwise, like a claim page is identical to a news analysis page, but it really needs to uh, have the direct links to all the evidence um, underneath the, I guess, underneath the executive summary. Summary. Under, well, I think it's like executive summary. So, so claims have except they have a yeah so. So standards of rigor and links to direct evidence. I guess these would both go first. First executive summary, then uh, subclaims. So are the, uh, the claims that this claim is dependent on, or axioms, or whatever, and and then below that you have the. I guess the standards of rigor would be like on the right hand side of the screen. Or somewhere, I, I'm not sure where to put it exactly. But and then there would be the links to direct evidence, and then the discussion at the bottom. I'm not even yeah. And like also. Each uh, should also have its own. Yes, yeah, so actually, I like what's the name? Like, yeah, so I'm probably going to try to use one of those, like um, an object database, and then there's just going to be this, like, kind of object which will be used for like evidence claims news articles but just with a like a slightly different taxonomy so okay we talked about claims evidence art news articles uh and that, yeah so we talked i talked a bit about the conf criticism column okay But so like everything I talked about up till now is is just basically trying to make a tool that helps a group that has an issue that it wants to, to work on the most uh, a platform that they can present their their arguments in the clearest possible way with direct links to claims and evidence such that yeah. But that, what I haven't really talked about now yet is, but I'm hoping this helps. Like, if, if if each group can come up with the strongest narrative that it possibly can, that helps with the next step that I want to talk about, which is actually like the resolving the conflicts between competing narratives and the repeat competing claims. And, and I guess I one of the, one of the motivations I have for doing this is like, I guess there's like I, I I'm a fan of like uh. Of, of of the rationalist community and the skeptical communities like 
and, and in, the, in those communities, there's a lot of discussion, like about, you know, how do you convince, how do how do you convince uh, someone that the Earth is not flat, for example, uh, that's a diehard flat earther, or how do you convince somebody that MM that that vaccines don't cause autism, and there's there's actually been a heck of a lot of research on the subject, and I'm not. I'm hardly aware of it at all, except for like the bits and pieces I hear on these podcasts. And but like one 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 thing that I did hear though is that like like more data is is never enough uh, to persuade somebody of anything. What like and or, or not never enough, but it's rarely enough. And but what 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 people typically need uh, to is is because sometimes if like people have like an, a narratives that f- inform their understanding of, of, of the world. And if you want to, to change someone's opinion or to convince someone or to persuade somebody to, of a different opinion. Uh, yeah. It's, it's, it's not enough to just give data. You have to, you have to, you ha- you have you have to present them with with a full narrative that they can that they can that 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 that, that, that can replace that the the narrative that they're already believing in so yeah, so so the idea here is is just um narr- yeah like c- c- I I gotta do more reading before my next podcast so I don't feel so uh, just trying to reach for memories that are only half formed. But um, yeah, I'm ho- I'm hoping this this kind of a tool will allow people to have a better understanding of of their intellectual interlocutors or people that they disagree with, a fuller understanding. So like such that people just don't get caught up and angry over any one small specific issue and completely write off the rest. Uh, so anyway, so yeah, so on to, yeah, the conflict resolution protocol. So say there's two groups uh or say a community has to make a decision about something and there's different groups that have different opinions on on the best way to proceed uh I guess that's another piece. So any group who wants to propose, or yeah. I think I need another short break because I'm, yeah, I need another short break. I'll be right back.
All right. So, <laughs> yeah. All right. I don't have. I don't know how much I. I'm just gonna. Oh, I don't know how I'm gonna approach this. But but basically, I guess I wanted to talk from the user interface perspective. But uh, overall, like the uh, idea is 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 to idea, general idea is to be as specific. as possible about uh, group differences, the differences of opinion. Maybe, and as, uh, comprehensive as possible about common ground so I think like a lot of the tools are already in place from what I previously described In terms of just like the uh, criticism column. Yeah, so. So basically I think like first before you even can have an agreement. So basically uh groups have to choose to participate in a conflict resolution. Um, arbitration groups could be chosen but it, like it should be able to function with or without uh, but sometimes an arbitration group might be also in so what what does a uh, so like any claim could have a conflict any narrative could have a conflict and it can get kind of messy um can optionally be chosen by groups on either side of a conflict. And like uh, a conflict doesn't need to just be two sided, it can be a conflict not necessarily. Could be, could be, could be, there could be in any number of competing groups, competing views. So, like, initially, uh, just keeping it simple. Uh, the on the user interface side, a basic uh, 
for the so each conflict has its own page. Conflict page. And we can we'll have the following. List of competing uh I guess meta groups. Or well, how should we group this? I just like a list of competing groups and meta groups. Um, and this is where they 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 uh, they had the I actually already talked about the conflict graph. So. So in the conflict resolution protocol, um, group says, say group A is in conflict with group B about issue I or X. Um, uh, page for X should um, show a timeline. Of so we already have a, a separate page for like uh, comparing like side by side narratives like that already can exist and you already we already have the the criticism column which is useful but like this page I'm where basically this is a timeline of requests and responses. So group A makes a request about to verify So yeah, this is where I'm starting to get a little lost in my my thoughts. Um, basically, just a timeline of a request and response. So that's. And it, a request needs to be like a, you know, to like, yeah. So so the timeline of requests and responses show. So yeah, I already said that. So. Uh, 
and responses. Green groups. Um, so we need uh, basically a list in each group, each, each group. Have a list of the conf of the disagreements that should have a priority list. Also needs to be list of of resolved claims that and evidence that both groups accept. So, like on any issue, there's going to be uh, large amounts of evidence and large amounts of claims. The idea here is is that in the conflict, the the claims and the evidence get separated into two piles: claims and evidence that both groups agree on, and claims and evidence that both groups disagree on. And then we go through the list of of claims that they disagree on in in the other. Uh, either by priority or by um, wh 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 wherever traction can be made, wherever. So, 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 time library request response. I'll get back to that. And the like requests uh, can be to. Come to agreement on a claim. Uh, verify data evidence. So, and at, at the, so if if there's a piece of evidence that. Group A would like Group B to uh, I, yeah, I agree on like they make the request and and then the conflict resolution protocol. If these two groups are actually like committed to resolving the conflict between them, then it's then their it's their responsibility or their due diligence to provide a response to all the requests. And the request should be yeah to like verify claims, verify evidence, and clarify uh, or to to uh, clarify or elaborate on a difference such that it can be broken down into further claims and further evidence. And then you just keep ad infinitum until there's, till all the claims are, um, until you get, until all the claims are in agreement and then the conflict is resolved and you move on. <laughs> so that's, that's kind of the high level idea in a nutshell. Um, and I think there's other things that can be done to uh, like augment this experience. Like it doesn't need to be all textual online. I, I think I, one, one idea that I kind of like, I think, I think there's, I'd like to, I, I, I mean, I'm just coming up with like my own like little idea for a conflict resolution protocol, but I think 
just the idea of conflict resolution in general needs to be more explored by almost like you know i th I, th I think it's like I, I mentioned last time but like the the effect of altruists community is a community that tries to spend the how to get the most bang for your buck for improving the world i think the most bang for the buck for improving the world is 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 for all interested parties to work on conflict resolution protocols whether it's this one or other ones we just need more wild experimentation and we need uh we just need people trying different things cuz uh, yeah I, I i just don't see enough of it um uh, like well, like uh, like uh, other ideas, I thought I, like it would be fun to have like say a, two two people with extremely different views that are nonetheless you know, um say at least the individuals that attempt to to to, to have a a factual standard to their claims, and and the, the on on opposite sides of an issue. Imagine that we paid them; it was their job. To basically, like live stream every day, talk for like eight hours a day with an arbiter, and like not stop talking until they they come to a conclusion, and everyone can watch, and people can chat and participate, and uh, and 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 they would just keep talking and talking, and they don't stop talking, and they get paid. It's their job. And to but it, until the conflict is resolved, and I mean, if you want to make it, we could argue there's an incentive to not resolve the conflict because they're getting a paycheck. So I guess that's an issue. But I mean, if there's always there's there'll always be other issues. So uh, I'm hoping the incentive to actually, yeah. So I, 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 every issue has pro every system has problems, everything that you can imagine. But I, I just. I I'd just like to see more experimentation and this this is this is going to be my experiment. I'm going to start building this thing and uh if anyone sees this or you're uh, watching now or you're on YouTube or wherever I'm going to post this to YouTube later. Like p please feel free to steal any of these ideas and 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 run with them. I I'd, I'd be happy if you did. You don't even have to acknowledge my existence. Just, I think the world needs cr more, more, more creativity in terms of conflict resolution. And yeah. Whew. So I think that's all I'm going to stream for today. Uh, yeah, I really hope next week that I yeah start actually coding and I'm, if you found this doll, it'll probably be even more dull because uh, as hard as it is for me to write, it's even harder for me to code. But like I'm, and I only have, so I, I only have like basically, I have a day job, two day job. So I have to basically gonna give myself at the bare minimum four hours a week to work on this. So I'll be back next Monday evening to start writing some code. And, um, and I'll just be chilling. I'll I I might uh, pop in in between to play some StarCraft or if anyone feels like talking. It's feel free. I'm, let's we'll always be happy to see a comment or someone in chat say hi. And 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 if more people start showing up and talking, I'll probably start streaming more. And if I ever get money out of this, like I I hope like maybe it doesn't matter when, maybe a year or now, if maybe five years from now if the world's still around and I'm still doing this like maybe, maybe I can make this a job and but until that day it's yeah four hours a week minimum minimum so if I don't see you before then hopefully I'll I'll be back next Monday thanks everyone who's watched it's kind of blowing my mind that there's actually people in the the chat log but yeah so uh, thanks for watching and see you next time.